Hello, thank you for joining us. We'll be reviewing the process of entering an office exclusive listing through listing management in Bright MLS. All listings obtained and executed should be submitted to Bright MLS within two calendar days of the effective date of the agreement. However, occasionally a seller will instruct that their listing be withheld from the MLS and public marketing for privacy reasons, either for the entire listing period or a set period of time, making the listing only available to those within the brokerage, and this is known as an office exclusive. These listings should still be entered through listing management, and we will review that process together now. We will start in listing management, which can be found under the listing tab by going to add and edit listings. We'll start the process of entering a new listing by clicking on the orange tab in the right corner that says new listing. We're going to walk through the same way we would as entering any type of listing, starting with picking our property type. We'll simply click next. We will add in our address of the property and search. This will help us locate not only the tax record, but also any previous listings. We'll select the property we're interested in creating the listing for, and select the tax record and up to three additional sources to pull information in as we build out our listing. Then we simply click Proceed to Compare. And it brings us to our comparison screen where we'll be able to select information from our tax record or any previous listing sources to help us populate our new listing. Now, even in the case of an office exclusive, it's still valuable to take time and fill in any information here to really build out your listing, especially in the instance that you may decide to take your office exclusive listing and convert it to a standard listing. Once you've selected all that necessary information to populate your listing, you'll be ready to move to Add Values to Listing in the bottom right. Now we find ourselves in the main listing management screen. From here, we're going to start since you can see over here on the left hand side, we have several fields that are required in order for us to publish this listing. But our example is entering an office exclusive listing. So we'll simply come to the section here that says office exclusive, yes, no, and we'll select yes. You'll see that instantly a majority of the fields have disappeared and only limited information is needed in order to submit this office exclusive to Bright. We will want to check this terms of use box. And by clicking here, you are representing that the seller has directed the listing broker in writing not to use Bright MLS to disseminate the property's information to other agents or brokers outside of the listing brokerage, and that the property also will not be publicly marketed. If requested, a copy can be provided of the documentation to show this. You'll then want to come down and complete the additional necessary fields before you're ready to submit the office exclusive. You have a few options here with status. Well, most likely you'll select the office exclusive status, add in your list price, your listing agreement type, your listing term information, Ownership interest. Now that all necessary fields have been completed, we are ready to publish our office exclusive listing. We'll simply come to the top right here and click the publish icon. This will then provide us some additional details reminding us that this is an office exclusive and all the terms and details that apply to office exclusive D listings. Once you've reviewed, you can simply click submit. And now you can see that it's confirmed that we have successfully submitted our office exclusive listing. 
Now, at any point, we're able to easily come back into that listing and make necessary changes. You can simply click Edit to reopen the listing, just as you would any other standard listing. And from here, we can make any changes. For instance, if the situation applies that the seller has now elected to put the listing on the MLS as a standard listing, you simply change the office exclusive yes, no to no, and you will see instantly that you have several additional fields that you'll need to complete in order to make this a listing that can go on the MLS. Once you have completed all those fields, you'll be able to simply click publish and make the listing live, which will then make it available to be seen and searched by any of those other agents in the MLS. We hope you found this walkthrough helpful. Thank you and have a great day.